Just ask the L.A. Lakers. Sometimes less is more. They were in Utah with the Jazz had won nine straight. Kobe Bryant in street clothes, missing his third straight game with the ankle injury. Andrew Bynum also did not participate against Darren Williams and the Red Hot Jazz on that nine-game win streak. And Williams got it going early on. But Lamar Odom, how talented is Lamar Odom? Mm. 25 and 11. And when he starts, he gets to show it off a little more. Such a great thing for the Lakers to have a guy that's 6'11", can push the ball, score in transition. And a Spartan dog. How about a seven-footer who makes the steal and starts the transition? Pau Gasol to Shannon Brown there. So much talent. Time winding down. Jordan Farmar at the buzzer. Four for four from three for Jordan. The Lakers. Finished on a 12-0-1 in the first quarter. Second quarter, Gasol blocked by Andre Kirilenko. Darren Williams to Carlos Boozer coming off a monster night in L.A. against the Clippers Tuesday, but he didn't score in the second half of this one. Gasol, the jumper. Lakers up by 16. We go to the third quarter in Salt Lake. It's Williams to Andre Kirilenko who's shown some life lately. And it's a 14-point game. Fisher penetrates. Easy J for Gasol. Lead expands to 16 again. Once again, it's Gasol to Shannon Brown. So making plays, as you see, once that ball gets in that paint, it's tough to defend that team. As D. Will comes down with Patton. Williams. Over. He was a rebound shy of a triple-double, but the Jazz could never get it any closer than 12 in the second half, as you see. Wesley Matthews get the steal and the dunk. He had 13 off the bench, but Jordan Farmar had 18 as a non-starter. And again, L.A. up by 15. Gasol was huge, literally, figuratively, every other way. The hook shot goes 22 oh, yeah. now you're and not 19 double? for him. And I'm going to score. Just plain easy for Pau Gasol and the Lakers. So no Kobe, no Andrew Bynum. No problem and no resistance from the Jazz team coming off the second half of a back-to-back.